Hey everybody, Donnie coming at you today. As you can see, I'm up and about a little bit, walking around on one crutch, things are getting better. Today I just kind of wanted to uh, show you guys some of the lumber, some of the wood that has been coming my way thanks to my buddy Johnny Hughes um, and my buddy Will Patrick. Those guys have helped me out bringing some wood and stuff in so I don't miss out. And um, it's just, it's, it's awesome to have such good friends. I wanted to show you guys some of the pecan wood that I have, and then we're gonna go to the back of the house and look at tons of wood that I have back there. Then I have a super awesome um, announcement for you guys, something great that, uh, that I'm getting into that I've been working really, really hard at to, uh, to, to get out to the public. And it's been a little bit of a struggle, but things are out now, and I can't wait to share with you guys. This pecan right here came from, from a local, uh, local yard. A friend of mine locally owns a um, barbecue place and he uses pecan wood to smoke everything that they do and he uses green pecan wood. Now I'm not much of a, a barbecue expert or smoker or anything like that. I love to eat barbecue, but as far as how it's cooked specifically, that's outside of my realm. But he, he told me he had these huge, amazingly beautiful pecan logs. And so I sent my father-in-law over, which I forgot to mention him to my father-in-law, Shelton. He went over with Johnny Hughes and these guys cut this stuff up for me, loaded everything up with the tractor on the trailer, brought it over. And it is just absolutely amazing. You can see that the grain in this pecan is going to be exceptional. It's going to be some of the most beautiful bowls you've ever seen. The colors, the spalting already. Everything's been sealed up with anchor seal. Uh, several coats of anchor seal on it. Um, thanks to my wife who was able to come out and take care of that for me. And like I said, you can just see how big. These are going to easily produce some 16 or 18 inch bowls. And probably going to produce several of them um, I would be willing to guess maybe maybe 15 or 20 bowls out of this stuff at the least so this pecan is just super super awesome super super great guys and gals help me get this stuff over here I have a little bit more pecan wood that Johnny brought yesterday that he picked up I'll show you that's inside but let's head back to the lumber pile in the backyard and take a look and see what's going on back there Okay, everybody, here we are in the back 40 of uh, my house. I have a nice little pile of logs here that I need to get to. Uh, as soon as I hit up, I'm going to pick me up a new uh, steel MS311 uh, chainsaw, probably with a 20 or 24 inch ball on it. So I'll be able to make quick work of this stuff and get it inside on Grizzly and make me some bowl blanks. I have some beautiful wood here. Once again, thanks to my buddy Johnny. Uh, Johnny Hughes and the place where we're able to just gather so much of beautiful wood. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. It's a little windy out here today. Folks are out cutting their grass, things like that, but it is what it is, right? I've got some cherry wood here. I've got all these three logs up here, four logs up here are camphor, and they just have this amazing um, smell. It's like camphophonique. The smell, the, the it's like a medical. It is just, it's unreal. It's a, it's a very strong and very relaxing smell. I have some cypress wood. I have river birch. I have uh, plenty more pecan that has actually got some fungus and stuff growing on it. It's all sealed up, but it's actually uh, got some fungus growing on it, and you can see some spalting happening on it. I've got, like I said, river birch, magnolia. I've got some uh, cedar on the back side that I'll show you guys some photos of or some video of. I've got a big old poplar log back there. I've got tons and tons of wood uh, at my access, at my ready. So once I'm healed up, I'll make some videos of cutting this stuff up with the new steel chainsaw. Uh, maybe use the electric chainsaw to get some stuff once we're inside. I'll show you guys on the bandsaw. Uh, making rounds out of it and how I use the little templates and then we'll get to some rough turning of some bowls So I just wanted to give you guys a quick look of what's going on out here in the yard It's kind of nice to get out here. It took me a little little while to get out here 
uh, limping along on, on one foot and a crutch. But I'm going to bring you guys back into the shop real quick and tell you about the exciting news that I have. And uh, hopefully it'll be exciting to you guys also. So I'll be with you in the shop in a minute. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the walk around my yard and my little lumber pile, my little wood pile. Um, and I say little wood pile. I'm very thankful for all the, all the wood and bowl blanks that my father-in-law, uh, Shelton, my buddy Johnny, and my wife Amanda have helped me. Uh, gather up and get here while I've been a little uh, a little down and out um, Now on to the the ex super exciting news. I recently Rebranded myself. I guess you could say oh, I'm working on rebranding myself many of you know uh, And you've seen on social media Instagram and things like that that I've decided to change things to the green woodworker and the whole thing behind that is is I just kind of I wanted to make a name for myself uh, that was um, easy for people to remember it was catchy um, things like that I guess you could kind of say but the name really does mean a few things the green woodworker kind of explains who I am at this present time and my woodworking journey as a new or green woodworker and as I was thinking about that thinking about the green woodworker I've always known in the back of my mind that I wanted to do a podcast and I know that there are a ton of podcasts out there and it really seems lately that every day two or three podcasts are, are popping up which is fine I mean there are plenty of people in the world to listen to plenty of podcasts and I support as many of the podcasts as I can so for the last couple of years I've really wanted to start a podcast and I just wasn't sure of the subject um, because I'm interested in so many things, but I know that, that woodworking and wood turning um, and making is really near and dear to my heart. So I thought about it for a little bit and I just, I thought about what the, what the green woodworker would mean to me and would mean to many new people and people who may be new in a specific area of making or, or woodworking or wood turning or, or any of that kind of stuff. So I decided to go with the green woodworker. And on top of that, I also recently launched um, yesterday or the day before we finally got all the all the uh, particulars together um, I had a few things messed up at iTunes but everything is wide open now and the green woodworker podcast is live I've recorded a few episodes already um, I've released two I've released the intro show to kind of explain what's going on kind of like I just did just now and then my first guest was Matt Cremona and many of you guys know who Matt Cremona is. Um, he's just an outstanding guy, an incredibly hard worker, and just an encouragement to many people. So Matt was kind enough to be my first guest on the Green Woodworker podcast. So I recorded him up. I did a video of it also that I'm going to put on a dedicated YouTube channel. So there's going to be a audio version of it and then a raw YouTube version that is uncut. It's going to be from the minute we record to the minute we stop recording. So there's some behind the scenes uh, funniness going on. And, and Matt was just a super great guy. I have a ton of awesome, awesome content creators lined up uh, to interview and to talk to. And and kind of like I, I said when I, on my intro show um, that you're going to go listen to on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, Stitcher, Spreaker, anywhere that a podcast is available to download, it is there. So there are no excuses. Please go check it out. I'm making them 30 minutes or less to where you guys can just check them out real quick. And it's a, it's a really good listen. But the main concept behind the podcast is to ask these guys and gals and everybody that I interview, what are you doing how are you staying motivated and how are you continuing to be a content creator? And that's my motivation behind it. And I'm really excited about that because, because it's going to help us. It's going to help me and it's going to help everyone who wants to become better at what they're doing in this particular niche. And it's a small niche. And I feel like we're kind of in the community and we're, we're all supporting each other and that's absolutely awesome. But I want us to break outside of that community. I want us to reach outside of this small um, of this small community, and it is small if you really think about the overall scheme of things. 
because I want everybody to be bigger than what they are right now. I want you to reach people that you normally wouldn't reach. So I'm going to bring people in that you may not have heard of, but I guarantee you they're going to be really successful in either being an entrepreneur or a businessman or woman or in, in, in the particular craft that they're doing and they're, they're succeeding at it and they're making a living at it and they're happy at what they're doing. So that's the whole reason behind the Green Woodworker and the Green Woodworker podcast. Um, I'll try and slow down a little bit and settle down. I'm getting a little, getting a little fired up because I'm excited to bring you guys just some incredible content. I'm going to keep making videos um, about wood turning and woodworking, and I'm going to share as much of that as I can. So I'm going to be producing a ton of content. Um, in between my regular day job and trying to heal up and things like that one way or another i'm going to produce content no matter what it takes because i want to show everyone that this can happen and this you can follow your dreams and be happy with what you're doing um, quick note i've also got some stickers made up you may have seen this on social media you can follow me everywhere um, you can go to donnycarter.com and and get to any link that i have you can go to the Green Woodworker Podcast.com or you can go to TWGpodcast.com, which is a little bit shorter, and it'll all take you to either the Green Woodworker Podcast uh, website or to the Donnie Carter website. Either one will get you to the other place um, pretty easily. If somebody's interested in a sticker and wants to swap with me, I have an awesome, incredible uh, sticker wall going on on this, on this cabinet that I have in here. If you want to swap with me, let me know and uh, we'll exchange addresses and swap them out. I may put these on my site for just a buck or two to maybe kind of help promote things a little bit. I really don't want to charge anybody for anything that I have. Um, and, I, and I really don't even want to ask for donations for anything, but, but this stuff isn't cheap. It's not easy to do um, is one thing. Filming it and getting everything together is, is one thing, but the cost of this is, is it's a little bit and if anybody wants to help out what I'm doing or anything like that, I have a Patreon page set up. There'll be links below in the description. And it's not a requirement and it's not... What I'm trying to do is get the corporations and the other things like that to pay for things through ad revenue and other resources because I want everything that I do to, that I produce for you guys on here to be as free as possible. This isn't about the money anymore. Um, it's about being happy and about doing the things that I love to do. I have some huge plans for, a, um, for an on-site workshop that involves teaching and bringing in people to teach classes. and I just have this huge idea, so I'm trying to take it one step at a time and share with you guys what's out right now. The Green Woodworker Podcast, DonnieCarter.com, links in the description. Thank you so much for listening to my rant, my spiel and uh, checking out my wood pile today. I thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate you. And we're going to see you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.